Welcome back to the Electrician's 2 channel. Tonight we're going to do another comparison video using the Gossen Metrowatt Metroline DM62. And I'm going to compare it against the sec my second um, uh, Ideal Industries True RMS Multimeter. This one I'm using is the 61-342. So uh, I've been using the Gossen Metrowatt uh, compared against several meters lately in several videos and it's been coming up kind of short on the short end of the stick as far as uh, winning and um, for one reason or another and and I don't want to you know I don't want to mislead anybody by saying that just because it hadn't won against that multimeter or, or another multimeter that it's a that it's, it's a bad multimeter because it's not this is a fairly good multimeter right here it's just that for one reason or another, I choose I chose to go with the um, the multimeter that I was comparing to the Gossen because it has a feature or two that I use that this one doesn't have, uh, or else you know if maybe it had a feature that that they both have, but this one is a little bit better. So, uh, and that's very important as an electrician. You want to have the most features, especially the features that the features that you use the most um, in an instrument, and you want to pick the one that works the best out of the two. So that's what's going on with here. I mean, with this 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 multimeter here. I mean, this comparison. So, um, those of you who don't know or uh, um, know about Gossen, Gossen Metrowatt. Gossen is a real uh, well-known name. is uh, is from Germany, and they've been around. They, they make uh, all sorts of a test electrical electronic test equipment. Um, they are a heavyweight in the electrical test and measurement field, and um, so and this multimeter here is not one of their own. Um, this multimeter is a rebrand from uh, a company called Reship. And Riship is located in uh, India, and um, that's from what I'm from what I understand. That's India. That's India's uh, version of what Fluke is to the United States. Okay, so if you want to check this multimeter out, look under look under uh, Riship. It's spelled R I S H A B A. Uh, the the multimeter, I can't think it's a, um, but anyway, the series is six, I think 614 and 615. It's the DM614, the DM615, that's their multimeter. But anyway, that's the same exact multimeter. They just been licensed by Merch, uh, Gossen to make some for them. So, and <clears throat> this meter has a lot of features. It have some safety functions that the uh, safety features that I that I really approve of. Uh, some things on it that I don't like. One of the things I don't like about it is the backlight doesn't stay on long enough. Um, it's it's a I, I don't see where you can set it at. You know you can go in and set to uh, make it stay on a little bit longer or a little bit brighter. Now in the camera. If you guys looking at it right now, it do look bright, but it's not as bright as uh, this one. And this one's been on since the start of the video. So, and it's still on. So, that's that's one of the features that I don't like. It's going to be going off in, within a few seconds. Um, so, but other than that, both of these meters are basically pound for pound. They are ex exactly the same. So, um, I'm going to just call out a few and... I'm gonna do the same with this. I'm gonna let you know what's uh, with the features as you can see, but we just compare the two and I just picked the one that I think um, I would choose to work with, okay? The Gossen, the function uh, started from here. It has milliamps, amps, voltage, AC, voltage, DC, uh, off, Hertz, uh, Celsius temperature, uh, resistance, capacitance, off milliamps DC and uh, amps DC. They also have uh, diode, continuity, and far uh, temperature Fahrenheit. Now, down here, which you see these two, uh, this red, um, 
Let me turn this back on. Um, uh, let me see if you can see that. Turn some light on here. I know it's kind of... Put it up a little bit so you guys can see. Okay. Um, now, uh, this is a safety feature that I think is really nice. Um, it helps you not to put the leads in the wrong input inserts right here. And because you can really get hurt if you do that, if you would have the leads in, if they was open and it didn't have the safety feature and you put the leads in the wrong uh, ports, right, port right here, input jack, and you to turn it across resistance or whatever, it could blow up in your hand. So this is a real nice safety feature. This one on the other hand, uh, I think this one, don't quote me on this, everybody. I, I think this one have a safety feature, just doesn't have this. But if you put a plug it in, so, matter of fact, I'll try it. I'll try it right now. And I'll see. Put it in there. Put it in there. And if it's going the wrong, and I'm trying to, no, because if I was, it'll be making noise right now. And it's not. It's letting me do it. So it doesn't have that safety feature. Okay, let me try this. Let me try the ampers. And we'll see. No, it doesn't have it. It should have because it, it would have went off by now if it did. Okay. But anyway, that's a, that's that's a real big uh, a feature that I like, and and so it has a backlight as you see. You have hold feature, you have auto and manual feature, min max. It has peak. Um, this yellow right here is for. Let me see. I'm trying to see what this. Could you not? I'll tell you what, I don't know what the yellow, the yellow button is for. I have to look in the manual again, but nothing is happening. So, um, but anyway, it, it, it does, and plus it's true RMS and uh, it's rated for 600 volt CAT 3 and 300 volt CAT 4. CAT 4, okay? And, and so, it has a real nice protective boot here that comes off and runs off two uh, AAA batteries. It has. A, it comes with a strap just in case you want to run the strap through here and uh, have it around your neck to sort of hang off your neck, but it'll be facing down like this off your neck. So I, I guess when you need it, you can always raise it up and look. When you're done, just let it hang back down like that. Um, it has on the back, it doesn't have a place for your leads to snap into back here. It has just this. This is supposed to be like for a hanging, uh, for you, in case you want to hang it. That means you would have to either put it on a nail or something like that. If suppose you don't have a nail, suppose you're working in, in, in a panel, that's the only thing. So this was a waste right here. I don't I don't like that. Uh, everything else seems to be okay with this meter. Um, like I said, the backlight is not bright. It's it's bright, but it's not bright enough uh, for me compared to others. But it's, it it it'll do. It'll do. Now, this idea and the leads I have to tell you are very nice. Very nice leads here. Um, it's, it's that um, it's a silicone. It's not that whole hard PVC like type stuff. It's, this is silicone, and it's real nice, high quality. This comes off. Had a protective shroud. Uh, let me see. And there we go. This comes off, and. Um, Real nice leads. And now, as far as the ideal is concerned, this is a true RMS multimeter also. It has a range, it hertz, um, min max, and a relative, rail. So you can select uh, AC, DC from here. Or no, you can select some more features from here. Let me see. Oh, 
that's when you like here you're going to select if you want to like have four features on this dial right here and you want to select you use that button whatever when you want to go to resistance or what have you now uh, I like the big screen that it has. I like the I like the big le the big uh, numeric numbers right um, right here. It's it's nice and bold and it's nice and clear. I like that. Uh, the backlight is real bright. Um, uh, the features it has a hold feature too. This one has a hold. Uh, volts AC volts DC resistance diode. Capacitance and continuity. It has Hertz, duty factor, it have temperature, it have microamps, it has uh, milliamps, and they have amps. And have, have two all features just like this one does also. Now here's it rated for 10 amps. I can't remember. Uh, this probably rated for 10 amps also. It, it doesn't say here, but it's rated for 10 amps. And this one and uh, all of the port jacks right here. Remember, it doesn't have that safety feature as like this one does. Um, and eat, but on the, the the test leads are okay, but compared to the Gossen test leads, this would be like crap. The Gossen got that. The back, the back. This runs off of uh, what was it? Uh, a nine volt battery, one nine volt battery. This does have the the the, the port for the leads, uh, your the test lead, I mean your probes. To go in here, that's a good thing. It also have uh, for the hanging strap. I like that also. Um, have a protective boot that this doesn't comes off though. They do it? No, this did it? No, this doesn't come off. Yeah, it does come off. That's right, it do come off. This boot do come off. Don't do it. Let me get the battery in there. No, it doesn't come off. No, 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 no. It's integrated onto the, onto the meter. Hmm. No, I'm wrong. It does come off. I was gonna say I know it come. It comes off. My bad. It comes off. Okay. And uh, anyway, this it, this has a lot of features. Just like this, have one feature that I love that this one doesn't have, and that's the safety feature. But this have several features. Uh, that this one have that don't have that I like. One of them being, uh, I like that I can put my leads up here. I like that it has a hanging strap up here. I like the back, um, how bright the, the how bright uh, the backlight is. I like how big the numbers is, how big the screen is. That's about five things already that I like. This one, besides the features that both of them already have, they only have one feature that I do like. I'm going to say two. I like the, the rubber boot is real nice and rubbery. It's, it's real thick. So that's two compared to the other four, four five, or six I just mentioned with the, uh, no, I'm going to say and even the leads. So that's three. But that still leaves me with five right here. Maybe I'm sure there's one more in here. I just think uh, on, on here. But I'm going to say five so far. So uh, this out of the two, which one I would, which, which one I would pick which one will be my favorite uh, out of the two? I would have to go with the ideal. Uh, I would have to go with the ideal because the ideal have more features that features that I can use. Now this 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 meter here really really looks nice. I, I like the, the green. I like how it uh, um, how it looks, but you know looks going to get you so far. I'm I'm looking for the operation part of it and um, this this. This idea, will have, I haven't really tested this in the street, uh, in the field already, so um, I'm not going to comment on that part. But so far, the little test that I've done on the bench, around the bench, it, it seems it's, it was okay. So in that aspect, um, operation feature, I think is okay. But the idea will be the one that I default back to um, to be my go-to meter out of out of the two. So that's my pick. You guys may uh, choose something different. Uh, that's okay. You know, that's okay, y'all. Um, we can, like I said once before, we can agree to disagree. Hey, look, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe. I mean, uh, the subscribe button and, and leave and or leave a comment. Guys, I want to tell you something else too. Don't forget that I still have, uh, 
just a few a mo few more of these these meters left that I've been telling you. They've been going like hotcakes, y'all. Thank you, guys. Thank all. Of I just sold one today. Uh, I, well, I shipped it off today. They bought it last night. Guys, don't forget this. This is what I've been trying to get to you guys. It's a real nice meter. Uh, don't pass it up. It's still, I only have a few left on eBay. Fifty-five dollars. Check if you. I'm um, check what I. Um, Check um, e I mean the price on eBay, and these are brand new. This is mine. It's my personal one that I kept for myself. But the other ones on, on uh, they're, they're brand new in the box uh, for uh, uh, fifty five dollars. You pay your own shipping. Now, did you want to see some? Go to eBay, look for AEMC True RMS meter multimeter model number five two three three, and you'll see. Scroll down till you see this. I have a few left. Don't miss out, guys. I'm telling you, you're gonna be you're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. This is a very nice meter. All that you saw in here, included in the case, is something that uh, you you're gonna be glad that you bought. I'm telling you, this don't come around like this too often. Um, anyway, so guys, take a look at that. And those of you who have bought it, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And anyway, so. That's my, you heard my choice, guys. I just want to tell you thank you for letting me take your time up you doing this video. As always, I enjoy making them. I enjoy, re, I enjoy reading you guys' comment. I enjoy, uh, you, you know, just all every, everything about it. I enjoy being an electrician. I love being an electrician. That's why I love talking about this kind of stuff. I love what I do, always have. And I hope you guys feel the same. Those of you who are just getting into the trade, uh, you've picked the honorable trade to get into. But I do have respect for all trades and uh, all skilled tradesmen. But um, if you chose to get into this electrical field or whatever field you're into, but I'm speaking to this electricians right now, um, keep it up, learn all you can, and stay safe out there. Peace out.